Hey, Steve Basic Architect, out here at our off-site build project. So, you can see, we have our 10-foot superior walls in. They're on the stone footing. When we were out here talking about the hydrology of the site, we pointed out some of the water movement. I think it's, uh, you know, worth repeating. I took a walk over here just to see what the conditions were. And you can see, I mean, we're going to just take a quick walk around the corner, but you can see there's just basically a steady film of water. And it's running down. You can see there's running water there. And the thing about water is you got to remember, that's not like a 10-second ordeal. That's probably a perpetual system. So underneath us here, we have a 6-inch perforated pipe that's in a big stone gutter here. And it goes out to the end of the house and then down along the lower frost wall to perk on the side of the site but you know as we come across here you, again you can see there's just areas of running water dripping water you know we have another one here you know it just leaches through the stone here and you can see it dripping down there um, and then we actually have a pretty good one coming in here up high I mean that is literally running water through that crack of the stone so you know you hear me say it all the time um, water it's the number one killer of buildings and as we walk down through here you can just see there's just example after example of that running water but not only are we going to basically have a waterproof dam here you know remember superior walls this is 5,000 pound concrete so they provide a warranty against waterproofing um, using that 5,000 pound concrete in their system but being that I like to do belt and suspenders I figured let's not just rely on their system you guys know my motto, the best way to deal with water is get rid of it as fast as it can, right? So before I allow it to challenge our warranty, that water is going to run down and under our feet, again, we have that six inch pipe that runs all the way clear across this ledge, around the corner, down the whole side of the house, gathering up all of that groundwater and taking it to the far corner of the site so that it can... Uh, <clears throat> what you call it, leach into the ground there and uh, just basically become part of the hydrology south of the building. So anyways, I thought you'd uh, get a kick out of that. I mean, it's a nice hot sunny day. It's been hot here. It hasn't rained in a little bit, but yet we still have this groundwater movement. And if you haven't seen the video, I mean, we're standing here at the foot of what is about a 300, 400 foot hill up above us here. So all of that water that that hillside is capturing is coming down here to us. So anyways, let's go check out some more of the build. Hey, Steve Basic Architect. We're at our off-site build project. And you can see the hydrology of the site is that we have a very high moisture content in the air out here. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is the precision in which Superior Walls operates. So, obviously, you know, these panels, like I said, they get um, cast a couple hundred miles away from here, somewhere down in Pennsylvania. Um, they get, they have their shop drawings, they cast them, and then eventually they have to come up here. And as you trace around the building, that loop has to close upon itself. So as you can see, we're one panel away from closing on ourselves. But I want to point out, look at the precision in which these are made. We have these, you know, joints here that are like a lap joint here. You can see the sealant oozing out of it. We have our door opening here. Again, that bottom is just to keep the panels integrity during shipping. That'll get cut out, the slab will get poured to the workshop, and then we'll have our 
in the door there. We have another one of those joints. You can see that seal is just oozing out. They're very, very generous about placing that sealing in there. You can see that our walls are plumb with the frost wall below. But the thing that I'm most intrigued about in this area, when we come around the corner here, you can see the precision in which these were cast and installed that the upper panel and the lower panel are damn near a flush condition here. Now, we're going to have our overhead door. We have our last panel goes in there. That's going to complete the system. And then over the top here, we'll have a steel beam detail that basically will support that concrete plank from above. So, anyways, I just thought it was... Uh, very interesting that we can go around, we can build these panels somewhere off-site, bring them here, crane them in, put them in, and we're not lacking precision, right? Some people might think, oh yeah, you put that in, you're going to be an inch out by the time you go all the way around the building. No, we're probably close to about 400 linear feet of wall here, and we're going to close it right on the dime. So, Anyways, a little bit of precision. Superior wall. Oh, well, we got the last wall. You can see they're prepping that, so got that last wall flying in. It's going to sit on the other side there. And like I said, that is the end of the line for superior foundation walls out here at our off site build project. Hey! Basic Architect out here at our off-site build project. Yeah, as you can see behind me, superior wall work is nearly complete. We have our trailer over there that brought in our panels. We have our crane here, you can see. We have the cradle there, and you know, you can see there's a three garage door opening. Or our, we have a five-car garage on this, a double door, single, and a double door. Um, you can see they already passed the shear straps in the foundation. We'll just simply just get folded up and nailed off to the uh, wood frame panels above. You can see our shear walls inside there. Uh, the, gen the gents from uh, TV Build are setting that is the final panel there of the wall system. We have that demising wall there that separates the basement of the house with the basement workshop under the garage. And we have this little area here. You can see we have our walkout. We talked about the door there. Windows looking out to the side. And then we have our uh, four seating room that completes the corner there and the master seat here. And then you can see the little bump out around the front. There, that is for the stone masonry porch that we'll eventually have here. And uh, yeah, our system, and you can see the last piece went in. And again, you know, the precision and the tolerances that these guys, the, the installers and security wall and such, work under, it's uh, pretty amazing.